All right. Now let's talk about monitoring food temperature just right before we serve it to the customer. All right. So as far as I am aware of, you see there there are these two scenarios of which I am aware of that could happen in in, in such scenario. All right. So first is that the food that has been prepared by the chef could be directly presented or served right to the customers directly right so the food could be just served directly right no no delay at all just serve directly then the customer will eat it no problem at all right the second one which has the high risk you know of potential uh you know infection of bacteria or in germs right um, the, the food that has been prepared by the chef could be delayed before the customer gets it. Right? So there, you, you, you may experience it already, especially in the Philippines. Right? There are these things called karindiria, and there are this food that has been displayed inside, inside you know, a, a glass shelves, uh, how they call it. Right? But the point here is, such thing that has been practiced by my kababayans are actually improper of which I realized all right so the proper thing that we must do if the food is delayed before the customer gets it is that um, we must keep it in a proper temperature all right again a proper temperature for the bacteria to not grow there or you know for the bacteria to not spread and can potentially harm the customer Right, so there are two types of food, of course, when it comes to hot foods and cold foods. Right, so let's get to the first one. When it comes to hot foods, ladies and gentlemen, right, the food must be kept, right, before we serve it to the customer. I mean, if it's delayed, right, it is displayed, for example, the food must be kept, right, must be kept 60 degrees Celsius or higher, right, preferably higher, right, 60 degrees Celsius or preferably higher. Right now, if the food is, um, let's say, it has been kept inside, the, you know, in, inside the shelf or something, and it is not as hot as what I just said, then there is this, um, there, there is a higher chance that the bacteria could grow there, and uh, you know, the bacteria at the very least will not going to die, right? So uh, after the chef cooked the food, then you will going to display it. Then before the customer get it, you know, it is very dangerous already. So we must keep the food 60 degrees Celsius and preferably higher. Now, if the food, let's say it will not going to be delayed for a long time. Like it will get directly to the customer, but there is just five minutes delay or something like that. Then as, uh, as how we learn from diversity, from our module, we must keep the food inside an oven and again, keep it. Um, 60 degrees Celsius and preferably higher right but not so high of course if you keep it in an oven with a really high temperature of course we get burned right but the thing is that our intention our plan here is for the bacteria to not grow and uh, you know of course after being cooked by the by the chef of course the food is clean right so we don't want any bacteria to get into that so we must keep it in an oven before serving it to the customer right or Again, if you are dis uh, about to display it inside a glass shelves, then preferably, um, or you know, what what we suggest is to keep it sixty degrees Celsius, and prefer or preferably higher. All right, for the bacteria to not grow. Now that that's hot food, right? Now to the second one, if it is cold food, right, you must keep it inside the fridge, and the temperature must be five degrees Celsius, or preferably lower. Right now, um, these foods could be ice cream, you know, salad, something like that. And halo halo if you're in Philippines. Now, the thing is that if we keep the food 5 degrees Celsius or, or higher, you see, higher than 5 degrees Celsius, then it could, you know, uh, potentially melt the ice cream, right? Or any hot, hot food that you have inside this fridge. Right, so if, if if we have a cold food, we keep it inside the fridge, and we must maintain the temperature of five degrees Celsius or below. Right, not to mention that there are also foods that could be spoiled. I mean, like strawberries, or if you have a salad, you know, there is these tomatoes inside. All right, we don't want to keep the the fridge temperature higher than five degrees Celsius. Right, because that can 
that can um, th this type of food you see is 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 what we call it is what uh you know contain a, a capability of of getting spoiled immediately all right so we don't want that right we don't want this food to get spoiled immediately before even the customer eats it right so we keep it inside the fridge below five degrees celsius right now last thing all right before we go to the next one if you keep the the food all right and we we monitor the food temperature right of of the food right we must have this thing that we must call, that, that we call right food thermometer all right now not all restaurant has this but our team suggests that every restaurant must have this kind of food thermometer because it is really essential and it is really helpful and literally life-saving right because if we keep the food for example uh you know in, inside the fridge right for example ice cream or salad inside the fridge and we just check it by using food thermometer that the food that for example that the salad has a tomato in it and we check it that the degree is higher than five degree then we must we can doubt already that the food is safe right i mean we don't want the customer to eat this salad and then complain that why it is it tastes like it is spoiled already right so we don't want that one all right especially to the point that the that, that the customer can you know have gone to the hospital already we don't want that to happen all right so having a food thermometer can be literally life-saving right because if we check the food we can understand you know we can comprehend that the food is all right to serve to the customer or not all right so these are the things that we must note of which uh yeah the, the the restaurant of which uh Jorilin experience has not been adhere or practice yeah so if the restaurant by any chance watch this those are the things of which you must practice for a better uh you know better reputation and uh, better better food clean and safe food for your lovely dear customer all right so that's it let's get to the next one